I just got done watching the absolute worst and cringiest Scorby and Grubbs video of all time. Uh, their latest video was uh, Intimacy in Our Marriage. And let me tell you, first of all, the thumbnail is fantastic because her ace is all up in the air like she just don't care. Yeah, these people, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. So I watched the video as I'm driving and good Lord, I wish there was a way where I could fast forward every time Shane talks because I just can't stand his voice. Poor guy. Anyways, so... Uh, the, I just looked at the video. It got 78,000 views in a day, which is great for them because even though they have a million and a half subscribers, uh, they get terrible views on their videos. Uh, I'm starting to think that they probably bought their subscribers or something, or maybe it was just uh, shorts that got them all those fake subscribers. So in the video um basically like this you know if i'm gonna do a video talking about them i gotta have some talking points and i don't really have any because i was driving while i was listening to them and i was just cringing i don't think they have anybody look at their videos before they put them up on youtube because if they did that person who when they would have shown that video to and said hey do you think this is a good idea we upload this that person should have said "Fuck no it's not a good idea that is the most, it's just the worst video I've ever seen them do. Can you believe this nutcase? I, I really do believe that, that the Hannah girl has something going on. I don't know what it is, but she has something going on. This nutcase has the nerve. When she brings up how, when people always say like, oh, well, uh, this is fake because he had two other cute girlfriends before. This this lunatic says, Shane's had other girlfriends before that you guys don't even know about. So apparently this, this guy Shane is like a chick magnet. And there's all kinds of hot chicks just begging to take care of him. She actually had the nerve to say that not only were those two his actual real life girlfriends, that he's had other girlfriends off of YouTube. And we just don't know anything about it. Wow. The level of cringe in the video is, is unreal. They come across as two 12-year-olds who are just lying about them having sex all the time. They're like, yeah, I have sex all the time. Man, I'm 12. I have it's like two little boys. Like, oh, yeah, I had sex with my teacher. I had sex with my friend's mom right here. And then he's like, yeah, I had sex with his mom too. There are st they are terrible. Terrible. That video is terrible. You guys, you guys got to go watch the video. But read, because the video is boring. They don't really talk about anything. They're, they're full of crap. But the comments, 78,000 views. Yet, yeah, let me see how many comments do you have. They, they got 78,000 views. And uh, they got oh, only 387 comments. Okay, they got 4,000 thumbs up, but only 378 comments, but they got 78,000 views. You got to go read the comments because there, there is so, I don't know if they're trolls, but there's a lot of people in the comments that were just like, this is bullshit. And I know that they delete those comments and you could just tell there, you know, when people there was a couple people in the comments that were like, how can people watch this video and not know that their love is real? What the fuck are you talking about? There is no love, you you retarded buffoon. You imbecile. There's no intimate connection. There's nothing there. They're, they're just very good friends that faked the marriage to become YouTube famous. That's all they did. That's why the TLC channel and all the reputable uh, TV networks out there, that's why they've never hit them up for a, for a TV show because they're full of shit. No, TLC doesn't want that crap on their channel. And all the other uh, YouTube channels that have interviewed them, they all know they're full of crap too. They're, they're just, they're, there's no intimacy. They don't have sex. How can you as a woman, this is why I think she's mentally ill. How can you as a woman find a, a man attractive when you got to bathe him after he uses the bathroom? Like, like I said, this ain't, this ain't, I ain't shitting on the guy. 
you know, he was born with a bad hand. He was dealt a bad hand. But it is impossible, impossible to find a man sexually attractive, sexually appealing when you know that he can't even hold a fork. He can't even eat on his own, the poor, the poor bastard. You know what I mean? How do you find that sexually attractive? And I wouldn't be making these videos, calling them out, if I did not read how people will say like, oh, um, my son has SMA and you guys give me hope that he can find a girlfriend. Listen, there is no hope. Unless his girlfriend also has SMA or she's disabled too, or he maybe his condition is not that. Look, this broad in the comments, this, this nutcase, she said, um, oh yeah, my son's 10 years old and he has SMA and, uh, you know, I'm worried about his, uh, sexual reproduction. Like, what the fuck are you talking about a kid that's 10 years old? Why are you thinking about a kid that's 10 and sex? 10 year olds don't, what is with the sexualization of children? You guys are fucking crazy. Like, listen, I understand if your kid's 13 and he has SMA and you're worried about him finding a girlfriend because you know the guy's gonna be wanting to beat off all over your house, all over your rugs and carpets and all up in the bathroom and shit. To the windows, to the walls. But come on, you don't need to be worrying about that now. He's only 10 years old, you creep. Jeez Louise, man, these guys are freaking cringy as hell. Every time I do a video about these guys, I say, you know what? I'm never going to make a video ever again because it's just boring. And then they do more dumb things like this. And I'm just like, what the hell? Stop making videos. I forgot. And you know what? I just want to say, maybe I don't have to say this. I don't watch their channel. I only watch the cringy clickbait videos when she has sticks her ass up in the air. Or she's showing her tits or whatever. She knows what she's doing. She's not stupid. She's a weirdo, but she ain't stupid. Man, I can't believe these clowns. And listen, everybody, all their subscribers, they all, like the ones that are not retarded, they all know this story is fake. Okay. The only people that comment, they're like, oh, you guys are such a, you know, they don't even believe it's real. I, they just want to support this nonsense. They want to support this nonsense. What the hell? Is, this is mind numbing. Just mind me. <sighs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Guys, go watch the video. It's entitled um, Questions in Our Intimacy or something like that. And they don't even talk about their intimacy. They don't They don't talk about anything that like is juicy or gossip. They don't talk about anything. And then the broad Hannah is like stretching while she's, uh, you, you know, talking. She's like trying to stretch. And it's just a cringy, weird video. I mean, yeah, she's got a banging body and she's, she's very, very attractive, but she's nuts. She is absolutely nuts. I'm telling you guys, I, I, I don't mean to be repeating what I'm talking about over and over. Her parents have got to be so disappointed that she's wrapped up in this charade. They have to be. Her mother wants her to marry a guy that's tall, dark, and handsome, not Shane. And I know that's being mean, but it's true. Strap her mother and father to a uh, a lie detector test and tell and ask them some questions. Eh, eh, lie, lie. Yeah, she wants her daughter to have lots of beautiful babies so she could have beautiful grandchildren, and she wants them by a normal man. Not not this. She doesn't want her doing this artificial insemination nonsense. The guy has like half a sperm. How are they gonna have sex? He has no libido. The guy, look, he talks robotic. He acts robotic because he probably has never had somebody to like hug him and tell him that they love him. He doesn't know what it is to be loved by a woman. And yeah, it, that might be a little bit mean, but it's true, you know? And I don't like that they're, that they're doing this crap because it just gives other people false hope. And I'm just like, and it's so cringy that people believe it's real. You know what I mean? I just like, I, I, and every time I upload a video, I'm like, that's it. I'm not talking about these two ever again. And then I, you know, I check on their videos. I check on their channel once every week or once every two weeks. Just to see what, and they just upload this nonsense.
they upload this nonsense. And listen, I hope all the best for this guy. I mean, I'm just calling it the way I see it. It's just ridiculous. It's just, they should have really deleted that video because it was just very cringy. Go read the comments. It's, they're just, the, the comments are pretty negative for what they normally get. All right, guys, I got to go. Uh, shout out to Scorpion Grubs. Listen, I don't, I don't hate you guys. I don't dislike you guys. I just, you know, this whole, this whole fake thing is just stupid. You know what I mean? But whatever. I just think it's dumb. All right. Catch up with you guys later. Peace out.